just a list of the things you're going to need. We got some bowls. These will be our forms. You need one to be smaller than the other, so they sit inside one another. This year, I've chosen the lava rock. You can use fire glass or special river rock. This year, I've actually just purchased right off Amazon a burner. It already comes with the air mixture and it came with a little hose. This one's four feet, regulator, everything's built in. Some chicken wire fencing. It's going to go into the bottom underneath the lava rock just to keep it above the burner. And finally, the cement. I have gone ahead and right here, this will be where I slide my burner in after. All I did was took a piece of styrofoam, cut it at the size needed, wrapped it in duct tape, taped it to the side. The bottom, this will be my water drain. Same thing, styrofoam, duct tape to the bottom. The one on the side, this is so that I can slide my burner in this way and out. So it'll sit like this inside the concrete fire bowl after. Once I mix the cement, I will go ahead and put the clamps on to hold these bowls where it will be needed. Something along those lines there. Alright, I already got about half of a bag in the bucket. I'm just going to add my water and mix it. You don't want it too, too wet. But you want enough water in it that you're not going to have a honeycomb look to it when you're done. Alright, before you end up filling up your form and pouring, I recommend giving the bowls a little bit of a oil just makes it a lot easier to strip in the end. Do the inside of this one, outside of this one, spray your little styrofoam pieces, and you're ready to go. All right, now we're gonna fill it with concrete. Then my bowl needs to be right to the top of here, so I'm just going to top it back up. With a nice rubber mallet, you're going to want to bang around. This will get rid of any air that is left inside. As you can see, I've got a lot of weight in here. It's level all the way around the bowl. I'm gonna leave this overnight, let it cure, 
and we'll check back tomorrow. It's been roughly 24 hours since I poured this. It's only about 10 degrees in my garage, so it does take a little bit longer to cure. But now, we're gonna get everything out and get ready to strip this. plug is out. I'm going to leave it in this bowl and then I'm going to sand everything nice and smooth. So after a quick sand along the top, it's uh, pretty well even all the way around. I'm pretty happy with the rough sand. I'm not too worried about the inside because it's going to get filled with lava rock. All right. I've sanded the top. Now, this is cured long enough that I can remove it from the form completely. That there is where my burner will go through. Right here. If you would like, you can sand it, rough it up. You can sand it to be smooth. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut a one foot by one foot piece of mesh. And I'm more or less just going to cut the inside out and it'll drop right down inside with a sharpie just go ahead and give you a rough line so when you're done it should look something like this somewhat round it doesn't need to be perfect and it will slide right down like so. I have now put the lava rock in. I've used roughly five pounds. For demonstration purpose only, I will light this. But you should really let this cure.
just like so.